Lars, we all know that lately creating a content is becoming a kind of a new trend. Everyone is posting on all social media platforms, especially on LinkedIn, ideas, LinkedIn Live, recommendations. So in that sense, based on your experience, what tips do you have for people who are not used to creating content and they are searching for a job? Yeah, I think you know, content creation is, uh, is interesting. It's never been easier to create content. So whether you want to you know, go live on a variety of chari- uh, channels and do live broadcasting, whether you want to um, use design tools like Canva to create compelling imagery uh, and, and images you can use, uh, blogging's been around for a long time, that's not new, but that's still a very powerful uh, platform for creating content. Um, the, the barriers to getting into podcasting have been lowered incredibly, where now you can use a tool like Anchor and go live on your iPhone or your mobile device, you know, in minutes. So I think that the barrier is low. I think from a, a job seeker standpoint, um, you know, there's always the balance of content for the sake of content and, and you know, good and or at least decent content. And so, you know, part of the challenge is there's so much noise right now uh, around this idea of being a creator and pressure on people to, to create. And, and this idea that if you don't have a podcast, you're missing out. And, and I, I take that with a grain of salt. I think you need to have something to say. You need to have a point of view. You need to have a perspective to share. Mm-hmm. There has to be a level of value and, and kind of you know, interest mm-hmm. in the content you're creating for that to be successful. If it's, if it's obviously content for the sake of content, that's not really going to help you, I think, as a job seeker. So, you know, be a bit thoughtful. Don't just rush out and blast out on everything just because you can think a little bit about, like, how do you want people to receive you? What, what, what ideas do you have to share? What do you have to say? What's your, um, your framing around a topic that might be uh, cut against the grain a little bit, be different than the normal? And so think a bit about that, you know, so that it's, it's true to how you think, it's true to what you believe. Um, but that kind of thing is, is often going to be more compelling um, than some people that are just, you know, they're, they're prolific in terms of content, but it's all over the place. Yeah. And it's kind of like, it's this, it's that, it's mm-hmm. over here. Um, there's this theme over here. There's this other theme over here. I don't really know what you think because these things are kind of opposed. Yeah. And so, you know, not that you have to be, you can be, you don't necessarily have to be like absolutely rigid and thoughtful and like every single piece of content has a commonality, but having an idea and a point of view and a perspective of, of what you want to say, how you want to say it, where you want to say it, and ultimately how you want that to be received by your audience. I think it's important to put a bit of thought into that um, before you just kind of tap in all these channels to create content for the sake of creating content. Yeah. I totally agree with you. And we all know that recruiters, the first thing they go is they go on LinkedIn or on social media. So having a social media presence is important. And as you mentioned, be specific, be authentic. So if yeah. you're an expert in selling fitness, give comments about fitness. Or if you're passionate about technology, give comments or uh, posts or write something about uh, uh about technology so that you identify yourself because creating content also will result your personal brand and every and we know that these days the personal brand content creation all those things add makes you unique and differentiate yourself when applying for a job yeah i agree thank you for those tips uh, Lars. and again for the audience watching if you have any other tips in terms of creating content please leave it in the comment section Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Lars.